Hello guys, so like I promised in social media today, I wanted to um, be a little bit more casual um, and target my um, my business um, owners that follow me um, from the fitness, um, health, and, and tech industry um, and, and touch base on the topic, you know, jack of all trades, master of none. Um, I've always told people um, in the industry, it's like, hey, um, two things. You have to um, ensure that all your employees, including yourself, are in the best suited positions to maximize returns in the business. But also, I, will, I, I used to um, preach, um, value, you know, what's your value proposition? Um, by our, my infamous words, if you're not unique, you better be cheap. But let's go um, deeper into why I always talk about, you know, like um, not trying to be the jack of all trade, master of none. I've been licensed by Carnegie, Ziegler, some of the top sales training institutions. I've been either a licensed um, person to conduct training for those type of methodologies or also um, or have <clears throat> um, gone through the training so um, and a lot of them have this mindset where um, you need to you know take you know, if you if you are weak in certain areas to try to enhance those skill sets um, and 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 try to be the best but the reality of the situation is is that there's not enough time within a day to one um, be efficient in the world of entrepreneurship. You know, it's like the, you know the the no matter how wealthy you are, there's one asset you can't buy more of is time. So um, I, one of my prior videos, I was talking about mastermind groups, and you know this is important because. You know, let's say hypothet. You know, let's say for example, I'm really great in sales and marketing. I can sell, like they say, ice to Eskimos. Um, I can sell sand, you know, to someone in the desert. Um, but, but when it came to accounting, when it came to legal, when it came to other aspects in the business, I tried not to become a master in those areas. Um, reason for that is because. Um, maybe the opportunity that I had in mind to launch that particular business if it would have been invested in trying to become a subject matter expert in those other areas of the business, the opportunity would have diminished because I wouldn't have launched it in time or someone else would have come up with the idea. Um, part of a part of like developing a mastermind group or part of being um, like uh, uniquely um, in tune with yourself is knowing the truth um, and making sure that you align yourself with the right people to compensate um, in the areas in which you're weak. But it's imperative in key ma in key subjects that it's people that you trust. For example, accounting, you don't manage your money, you're going to be in trouble. So you want to make sure that you have the right person there if that's not your strength to, um, to assist you. Marketing um, is very, very important. So if you're strong in logistics or if you're strong in management, but you're weak in marketing, you need to have the right person that understands your industry that's helped going to take you to that next level and make your vision a reality. Um, attorneys, um, uh, do not skimp, especially if it's an area where you have um, gray areas or you have issues that may evolve that can potentially compromise your hard work and effort. Um, make sure you have the best in that particular area. Um, and just some insight for folks that are just starting. Um, there's a lot of focus groups out there. There's a lot of um, um, people that, you know, for little or no money, um, you know, can help you in those, in those particular areas. Seek a mentor. Um, all throughout my, you know, it's like all throughout my career, I always had someone that I looked up to. Um, I I speak with them um, on a regular basis, um, even through the situations that I'm going through now from a legal perspective. 
it's like they're still my source of motivation. They're still my source of inspiration. And one of the things in which I've always um, focused on was developing timelines. Saying, you know, it's like understanding clearly when and why things need to get executed within a specific timeline. And that's when those subject matter experts that I've designated or I rely on are those that can assist me with, with you know, it's like with making those things um, come, you know, like come, th you know, come through much faster than someone that was trying to develop, um, develop an understanding of some of those subjects in which he or she would, would choose to learn them versus delegating someone else. You do not know how many businesses I have seen fail miserably because the individual that's on top does not know the art of delegation. Don't be that person. Again, thank you for your, um, for your insight. Thank you guys for your suggestions. Um, feel free to, um, to send me text messages or emails at any point in time. Until next video, take care.